What treatment is used for a solitary plasma cytoma? So if you determine that a patient only has a solitary plasma cytoma, which means that they have just one tumor of myeloma cells or one tumor of plasma cells um, without extensive evidence of it anywhere else, including in a bone marrow biopsy, you can use radiation treatment, uh, a higher dose of radiation treatment. Uh, and in some uh, percentage of patients, that actually might be curative of the plasma cytoma, although it does warrant continue, continuing to monitor those patients lifelong to determine that or to make sure that they don't progress again or have a recurrent plasma cytoma or develop multiple myeloma later on in life. A solitary plasma cytoma is essentially one giant mass of myeloma. Solitary meaning one, plasma meaning the plasma cells, cytoma meaning a big ball of it. Uh, and the reality is solitary plasma cytomas we actually approach with curative intent. There are many patients that we can simply cure with this. You don't need surgery, you don't need chemotherapy, you need radiation. And you need to get to pretty significant doses of radiation. Um, we usually say around 40 to 50 gray. So this can take weeks and weeks and weeks of seeing the radiation oncologist. But these are people that we can have a high chance of cure. Now, there are two different types. There's bone-based solitary plasma cytomas and what we call extra osseous that are just in a soft tissue, nothing related to a bone. Being in the bone gives you a higher chance of being cured because it's kind of like the marrow inside the bone just grew out. It's not that the cells necessarily spread somewhere, but either way, whenever we diagnose someone with this and they have this mass and really not a lot else going on, myeloma-wise, we radiate it, we go for cure.